Hi, it's Sue from Creations by Sue, and today I'm going to be embroidering two bibs in my 4.25 inch Mighty Hoop on my brother 1055 10 needle machine. And I wanted to just show you how I retrieve the design from my USB um, and then how I hook up my Mighty Hoop and put the design onto the bib. So the first thing we're going to do is go to this little box here and press that. And that shows what's on my USB. So we're gonna scroll down and find the name I'm going to use, which is Royalty, and press that. And then we're gonna press Set to set that. And we're going to go ahead and press Edit End. And I wanted to show you before I go any further, these are the bibs that we're going to be doing. I'm gonna do two at a time inside the Mighty Hoop. So the first one will be that top striped bib. And I'm gonna move this over so you can see what I'm doing next. Next, we're gonna just hook the hoop into the machine. This. And then we make sure that the bib, nothing on the bib is going to run or fall on top of our stitch area. So I just kind of tuck that in. And the next thing I need to do is make sure that this design is going to fit to where I want it to fit, which is going to be further up here. So I can see right now that I've got to move it up a little bit. So we're going to, um, you need to be able to see that. This is the button I'm going to push to move the name up. And then we're going to go back here. Let me see if I can just bring this out a little further so you can see better. Maybe see the whole thing at once. Okay, that looks good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is use this button here to see where the needle goes. And I could use a camera, the camera on this. Um, which is maybe what I should do, but for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it without the camera. Up. And then down, and it's going to be going a little too far here yet. I want it to be above that seam, so then we press oh, OK, and we press it up a little bit. And now it's above the seam where I want it. I like to press down that first needle just to check, and then going to go up to make sure that it's not going to hit the hoop. It should be fine. It's not going to hit the hoop on the top. And then we press the side button. Check again. We're not going to hit the hoop. Press this side button. We're good to go. And bring it back to center. Looks good. So next, we press OK. And then I'm just going to be using one color. And we will go to embroidery. And I'm going to be using num color number 10. So in order to change that, we're going to press this box and press the number 10. And now we're on color number 10. Press OK. One thing I'm going to do right now is I noticed that it had a long tail there at the beginning, so I want to cut that. So I'm stopping the machine and just cutting that so it doesn't get all caught up in the other, um, in the stitches, and it becomes more difficult to cut out later. So we will continue. So that is finished. The first bib is finished. And now we want to do the second bib. So all we have to do is turn our design upside down. So we're going to rotate. And now our design is upside down. And then we need to move it down. And one thing I do like to do is go back to needle one. So in order to do that is, sorry, I'll go back to my screen to show you what I just did. Okay, so now I want to move back to needle one so I can see better where everything's going to end up. So I will press this button here and then this button takes me back to needle one. And then 
I'll press OK. And now I will press OK for the upside down. And then I want to make sure that this is going to stitch exactly where I'd like it to be. So I can tell right now I do want to go just a little bit. And then press the two needles again and do my placement. So right now my center is showing right here. That is probably going to be good, but I'm just going to check it. I like to press that presser foot down again. Oh, that's a little closer than I want it to be. So press OK, and I'm going to move it down just a little bit. It's a little closer to the seam than I want it to be. And let's check that now. That looks better. We'll make sure that we are not going to hit the hoop. And we are safe there on the bottom. The very bottom is safe. Make extra sure. And then I go over to the side, and we're looking good there. And the other side looks good, so I will recenter. And now the thread from number one has come out because I keep pu pushing the presser foot down. So then I like to just lock it up in there so it doesn't keep dragging around while it's stitching on needle number 10. And I'm still going to use needle number 10 color. So we'll go ahead into embroidery and to change number nine needle to number 10, we press this little button here press 10 and now it will go all the way to 10 and stitch it in pink so i'll go ahead and start the machine and you can watch it for a little bit and you'll see that it's stitching upside down now I'll give a little better view here Another thing that you may or may not know about this machine is if you want it to go faster while it's stitching, you can do that. I didn't know that for quite a while and I just learned that recently, so you just press this plus key and you can hear it's going faster. And you can also slow it down that way. And here it's going slower. And then I will show you the finished product. It's okay, and we'll take it out. There are the finished bibs. We'll take them out of the hoop here. Two separate bibs, just have to clean them up. They're pretty, and I found these bibs over at um, Hobby Lobby. Turn that off so you can see a little better. There's that one, and there's that one. So really simple with your Mighty Hoop and nice to get two done at once. All right, thank you for watching.